today our mission is to explore the Whitman Mission. Hey, that's kind of funny. It's a mission. The Whitman Mission Historic Site. Come join us. We're standing at the Whitman Mission National Historic Site just outside of Walla Walla, Washington. It's not fun to say. We're going to take a trip around, do a little hiking, and uh, take in this great national treasure. Uh, the visitor center is closed because of COVID, but we have uh, give you a rough idea of the grounds and what it looks like. Um, this is the first part of March, so we've got a little bit of spring weather and we've got a path that we're going to start out on and see where where it leads. Since the visitor center is closed, we really don't have any direction, so this will be fun. This is a replica of a wagon that you might see on the Oregon Trail with the settlers coming across Oregon. All of the park has informational signs similar to this one that uh, give you an indication of uh, what to look for, what happened there, what grew there, what was built there. So it's uh, it's a very interesting path. This is the mission site here. Once again, there's one of the informational signs, and it talks about the different houses, where the grist mill was located, where the mission house was. And so we're just going to walk around and uh, give you an idea of the mission site and how they had it laid out and the houses that were built there. This is the site of the mission house. Um, one of the things that they had to do, of course, was grow their own food. And here is one of the old orchards that's still in existence. Um, and once again, here's the mission house also. The uh, original Newman House was down along the river, but because of flooding, they had to move it to higher ground. And this location is the same location where their daughter had drowned. This was the location for the grist mill where they uh, ground wheat for flour. Uh, wasn't very big as you can read. Not much bigger than a current coffee grinder that we would use in our kitchens. As you walk through the mission site, you'll see these foundations or replicas of the foundations so you can get an idea of the size of the, the buildings that were there. Um, they had a person that came in, his name was John Gray, to help them, work with them. They had a blacksmith shop um, and then the mission house, which 
uh, was a school, church, and a number of different things throughout the years. on the old Oregon Trail towards the Whitman Memorial and gravesite. Seems kind of weird to be on the Oregon Trail. Hear about it, read about it, here we are walking on it. The Whitman Mission National Historic Site commemorates uh, Marcus and Narcissus Whitman's Whitman who founded the Oregon Trail um, Narcissa I believe and Eliza Spaulding were the first white women to actually make the trip across the continent um, and then again in uh, what was it 19, 1847 uh, the Cayuse people came down with a real bad case of measles and about half the tribe died, and so the Indians uh, went against the uh, Whitmans, uh, killed them, and then also took about 40 people hostage. This is the great grave. It has uh, inscribed on the top the names of the people that are buried here. Due to the weather and, and we weathering, uh, the inscription is pretty hard to read. But that was uh, this is the list of all of the names that were in that inscription, and they all were massacred near here by the Cayuse Indians on uh, November 29th and 30th, 1847. We've completed our mission. Hope you enjoyed our video of the Whitman Mission Historic Site. If you have any comments, please put them below. If you like our video, give us a like. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks for joining Senior Snoops.